One, it's a bird that sounds like it should always live near the beach, but you could find its nest in your driveway or in a field. More about the killdeer in this week's Next to Nature. All right, welcome back to Next to Nature, everyone. And this week we're talking about something that is kind of hard to see, but you can definitely hear it. Right. Talking about the kill deer right. is what it's called, but some folks may call it a different name. Right. Around Most here. people around here, and I grew up calling the same thing, a kill D. And but it, as you said, the official name of it is a kill deer. Uh huh. One of the reasons they call it a kill D is because of the the sound it makes. It can be uh, interpreted as saying kill D, but it's also uh, I got about three or four different vocalizations it makes on top of that, and one of them is killed deer. So that's just the multiple ways of, of calling them that, so. And one of the interesting things about this bird, and you may hear Mama, she's there she right, is right there. Yeah, she's right here as we're standing over her nest. Um, one of the interesting things is, speaking of her nest, they nest on the ground. They are, they're actually a shore bird. You can find them on the shore. And see, she really wants us to get away from the nest. Yes, yeah, she does. But they're shorebirds, and but they nest on the ground, and they're a ground nesting bird. So that's really, really, a, and it's kind can, of a unique feature for a shorebird, I guess I could say. So. Yeah, and you can find these in here as a gravel, uh, in gravel, right. but you can also find these in fields that's as right. well. That's right. They typically uh, they will form a nest, and as you can see, she's got rocks around this one, but she doesn't move this these rocks. What she does is she uh, picks a spot uh -huh. that has this type of cover around it. And then if you look inside the nest, she's actually put some grass and, and made a divot out. So uh, so that's the way she makes her nest. Now these are four eggs in this nest. And right. you mentioned she's a shorebird, but right. we're about four hours north of the right. coast. Right. Kind of explain that and how we get shorebirds in North Mississippi, West right. Alabama. So obviously we have shores. Uh, ponds and things like that, and you'll see them around those. I mean, they're very prominent, uh, running around the edges and things like that. So, as far as being a shore bird, yes, uh, they are. But prevalence in the on the coast, obviously, there'll be more of them uh, in that area as well. But um, one of the interesting things about these eggs, it are that when they hatch, as you see in other nests, you know, you have small birds and they're, they're opening their mouths and things like that, waiting on mama to feed them. Well, these birds, when they hatch, look just like her. They look just like little, little versions of her. Uh -huh. And they run, as soon as they're born, she takes them into the grass. And as they progress, she'll move them into taller grass and taller grass. And it's all about foraging and protection and things like that, so. And they actually have really great cover, even with the, the black and white right. markings. Right. Um, because right. we were looking for earlier out in the grass and right. it was a little tough to see. It is. One of the, the big features is the sooner, the closer you get to the nest, the more she's gonna act like she's injured to draw you away from the nest. So it's a really good protective uh, way of her trying to get you away from her, her uh, as you can see, she's trying to draw us away. So it's a kind of a fake uh, injury type deal. And this is prime nesting season. When does that end? It normally it'll be winding up certain, you know, soon because of the um, the spring and then it moves into summer. So they'll hatch uh, in a matter of time. I think you can uh, you can find them right now very prevalent. You can find them in the summer as well, but okay. they are a little bit longer as far as nesting behavior as there are smaller birds or other birds for sure. They take a little bit longer to form. So, and I think that's primarily because when they hatch, they're ready to go. You know, so that makes yep. sense. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to get away from this nest <laughs> and uh, fly the coop, I guess, so to speak. <laughs> All right, that'll do it for this week's Next to Nature. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again next week.